Good day fellow investors, I'm really really excited to start summarizing the second part of Peter Lynch's book One Up on Wall Street because this book talks about how to get, how to spot those great investments, those 10, 50, 100 beggars, what are the categories of stocks, how to categorize a possible investment and we're going to systematically, detailly discuss that and put it into a contemporary perspective. So please subscribe and click that notification bell for contemporary Peter Lynch, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger investing. I'll start with a short introduction into the second chap chapter, which is about how to spot this, those 10, 20, 50, 100 beggars. And Peter Lynch discusses it that you have to spot them. You find those companies when you simply look around yourself. Okay, what is the business? What's going on? And I remember like it was today, in 2009, I had to buy a special book and then I went online searching it and then I found it in Italian on Amazon Italy. And okay, I bought the book, it came to another country, it was shipped, everything was right, but I didn't go and check for the stock. I was happy with other investments that I had at the time. I did also very well. But if I check Amazon stock price, it's up 20 times since then. So if I just had looked around me, okay, I'm, I was using the service, I was using the product, and there you have already a 20 bagger in what, 10, 11 years. That's something amazing. So you have to look at what's around you and then apply the following tools. So we're going to discuss how to exploit your edge. Where are you? What's your industry? What are you living in? How to find the most promising investors? How to evaluate what you own? So we look at fundamentals. Then we're going to categorize all the stocks in the second video, which I'll make tomorrow, because in at the end of this video, I'll give you something to do. So something to start thinking about, and then tomorrow we'll categorize the stocks that you mentioned in the comments below. And then third part, third video will be about stock market research and then fundamentals. And at the end of this summary of chapter, you'll have a good idea how you find the stock and then how to decide whether it's something to buy or to sell. That is what this book does. So it's an amazing book. There's also a link in the description below for the book if you wish to buy it. I think every investor should have this book on his shelf. It's very funny. <laughs> you can find even in, in examples of great investments in books. This book was written at the end of the 1980s and Peter Lynch mentions ADP, so automatic data processing. And it's a company, okay, it processes paychecks and whatever. And he says that those that invested in 1960 something were looking at a 400 bagger because there were a lot of people using the company. And those that invested in 1989, while finding it in this book as a great business, still made a lot of money on it. If we look at the chart, it was $4.5 in 1989, now it's 172. So it went up 40 times. That's an amazing investing, not including even the ever growing dividend. So an investor that bought Lynch's book in 1987-89, which was a bestseller by the time, so a lot of people read it, could found a great business in the book itself. So we have to look for great businesses around us, understand them, and therefore the exercise for you is, okay, write down in the comments below free businesses that not the Teslas or the hot things, free businesses that you see, okay, this is a good business, it's doing good, I'm using the products, or someone around me is using the products, it's really growing, it's strong, it has a good brand, it has a moat, it has this. Write them down. Don't give me the hot stuff, give me the stuff that, oh, now I notice, now I notice. Check whether there is a stock or whether there isn't a stock, doesn't matter. Just name the business and put them in the comments below. That's the exercise and then tomorrow in the video we'll categorize those businesses in the six categories Lynch talks about. From growth stocks, from cyclical stocks, from uh, turnarounds and asset plays. So I'm looking forward to your comments. It's your turn now. Thank you and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.